Now we are going to do harmonic response analysis. So whatever modes will be there, so it will be taking that uh, input from this model analysis. So in this case, we are going to define oscillation load along Z axis. That is, uh, we are considering 2G. So 20,000 we are going to give in Z direction. So here, acceleration, we are going to give here. vector to component in z direction 20,000 ok we have applied a solution here and also we are going to define the range of frequency so minimum maximum frequency we are going to define so that is 0 hertz to we are going to define 500 so it's doing model analysis uh, we can go and see the messages also so here it is saying model analysis you may have not found all the modes in the harmonic frequency sweep range to avoid missing contribution from modes in the mode super position harmonic analysis it is recommended that the model frequency range be 1.5 times wider than the harmonic frequency so that we don't know whether it will come in within this frequency or not so it is suggesting to create more number of modes in model analysis so what we are going to do for six only okay we have applied oscillation here and defined the maximum and minimum frequency and also what we are going to do here we want we can also put this uh, so uh, uh, cluster results so we are going to put in here years so So in if you are putting this cluster results yes so this all results are clustered around each natural frequency so like it is useful if we are looking uh, to find peak response at resonant condition so here we we will use the cluster option to find peak response so here like uh, info if you see this info okay the system is solved without damping this may cause very large peak harmonic response around the natural frequency due to resonance so oh, we will also put here uh, damping uh, damping ratio around 5% so we can go to damp go to damping controls and then damping ratio that is 5% means 0 0.05 ok now we are going to solve so it has been solved so this harmonic results usually consist of like frequency response plot that will be in between amplitude versus frequency at uh, uh, discrete locations within the model and uh, contour results will be there that is deformation and stress of entire structure at the maximum response frequency 
so knowing that our excitation was in their direction we can expect most of our response to also be in their direction as we had at least one mode shape that had a predominant z component so what we are going to do here we are going to insert a frequency response deformation frequency response deformation so go to deformation geometry select outer face and directional that is in z direction okay so here we are going to this resolution we are going to use maximum okay then evaluate all results so in create contour results we are going to create this one okay So this, uh, this we, whatever we have created, this directional deformation result, it is based upon same frequency and sweeping phase angle at which maximum frequency response occur. So here we can see it is 239.78 frequency. So we are going to insert stress equivalent one minus stress we are going to insert here and by frequency we are going to take this 239 239.78 and shaping phase also we are going to copy here okay now we are going to evaluate all the results so it's showing both equivalent stress and directional deformation so directional deformation it's coming 0 0.11127 and equivalent 64.687 and frequency response we can see that whatever frequency maximum is coming here 